Hi, I'm Mike Willette, editor of CanadianManufacturing.com. Today we're at the International Centre in Toronto for Canadian Manufacturing Week 2008. We spoke with Andrew Jardine, a professor of maintenance engineering at the University of Toronto, and he suggested a few ways that good maintenance decisions can help boost your bottom line. When I look at the costs in an organization of how much do they spend in a year on maintaining their assets, in manufacturing, it tends to be somewhere between 15 and 40 percent of annual operating costs are maintenance related. So you can see immediately a wonderful opportunity to improve profitability by trying to be smart in the way in which we interrogate our databases to make good maintenance decisions for our manufacturing equipment. I'm very much concerned with uh, collaborating with, with industry in general, using what I often call as evidence-based asset management decisions. And what that really is all about is taking advantage of a lot of the data that companies have in the databases and using tools to enable them to very smartly interrogate the data they have in the databases to make good asset management decisions, such as the number of critical spares. Well, one of the tools we have developed uh, in a research group at the University of Toronto is called Spares Management Software. And this is dealing with what I call these slow-moving critical spares. Just sometimes products do fail, and now the manufacturer has to ensure that they have the right number of critical spares on hand to keep the uptime there for their, their customer. So that's one of the tools that we have developed, focusing very much on critical spares. I would say not. What I find in many, many organizations, uh, they have strong leadership, they have strong management in their organization. They are good at collecting data. They're looking at key performance indicators. And so the reality is that they have the data already in place, almost certainly. And we often don't need very much data to help management make very good evidence-based asset management decisions. The investment has already taken place in acquiring data. Many among manufacturers have been involved with Six Sigma, they've been involved with lean practices, they've been involved with just in time, they have databases. In practice, data we require to make very good decisions is already there. What is not there is often the, the, the skill and the knowledge of tools that are available to help us make very smart asset management decisions.